Hi, man, Drive Strong. Welcome to the back office. I do believe I have another dab radio here, but sometimes what I believe I have and what I actually end up with can be different things. So it's worth opening. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Alba. Wow. Alba. That's a Gen Yi Wine Alba branded product. Haven't seen one of those for a while. It's a mono radio, Dab FM. Dab FM radio of such tough, blah, blah, blah. soft touch and glossy finish. This bit's off, this bit's glossy, I should imagine. Backlit dot matrix display, nice. Auto scan, 20 radio presets, one times three watts, RMS, it's power. Three mega power, clock, dual alarm, wake to buzzer a radio, snooze. Oh, it's everything you would ever want, an alarm. Ooh, this is good. Just just today, actually, my one of my sons asked me for a, a, a clock in their room. I could maybe exchange their pure pure Evoque radio with one of these because that Evoque is worth way more money than this. This, of course, being around about fifteen pounds, I believe. Wow. Now, I expected this to be somewhat similar to a radio I bought recently, which is a Tesco's one, and uh, you'll find it in the Teardown Lab. Um, but no, it's, this is quite a different design. That one had a sort of OLED screen on the top with you know six buttons and a volume with a push button where the button it clicked. But this hasn't got any of that, but that's fine. Um, yeah, this is quite pleasing, quite a pleasing finish. It's a bit glossy, slightly cheap looking gloss, but that's fine. Batteries. This is the same configuration that it's got batteries, but the uh, the other Tesco unit had a USB power supply, which was interesting. Um, let's put something down. The problem is with these sort of soft, touchy things. If you use them on the bench, you're going to scrape scrape it up. Let's just have a quick flick through the manual while we're here. Yeah, it's all how to use it. Blah blah blah. Good. Nice. You get one really. Let's get the power in. Tiny little uh, AC adapter, pretty cute. Again, what's it saying? One amp, one amp, five volts. So it's a, it's a decent juiciness. We'll just plug it straight in. I think we'll just go straight into the actual time is not set. So this looks really quite similar actually to what the other one said. So I suspect it's using a sort of very similar module. You know, the, the DAB modules obviously aren't uh, bespoke by these manufacturers, they just buy them in. Now it's taking a while. Normally that was pretty uh, darn quick last time. Again, the software is really the same as the Tesco's unit. You can see this sort of scanning thing. The graphics are very similar. Let's see if it picks up anything because the Tesco one, of course, had a little bit of trouble initially in the back office. There's a volume. Is it still scanning while I'm playing with the volume? It's trying to. Scanning but not finding. Yay, it found something. Excellent. BBC Radio One, come on, come on, hit me. Okay, I'll play some music and I'll, I'll turn the microphones off. Look. That sounds really good. It actually sounds better than the uh, Tesco. The hole. Yeah, pretty good. So let's have a look at the bottoms. Bottoms, the buttons. Power, scan, menu, previous, alarm, mode, preset, select, next, and snooze. So I like the fact it has this alarm, actually. Alarm one setup. So how do we go in? Uh, select on time six duration 60 seconds source radio so you got those you can choose between the radio or the buzzer interesting I, I thought uh, twisting the knob would actually just go through the menu but it doesn't on this so you need previous and next there you go dab FM last listened do you see the ask for the ah. last listened yeah, I guess so daily yeah. nice nice little alarm radio Knocking off the power should go into the clock. Yeah, that works. Right, good. So yeah, in terms of radio functions, it all does everything as one would expect. I'm not even gonna test the FM because frankly, if you can't get FM right by now, you don't even deserve to exist as a company. Dimensionally though, this is very much the same as the other one. I think if you go online now, you'll see actually on the market, there's a heck of a lot of very similar looking units so they're either buying this uh, dab chipset from someone or they're all uh, they're all at it basically you can see here it's Argos limited here do Argos have something with Tesco's going on mm, maybe they certainly are sourcing their components from very similar vendors so that 
what's quite interesting though about the whole Alba brand, it makes it look like Argos now own Alba, which is uh, interesting. So that way they can make their own budget things. No screw in the battery bay. That's quite pleasing. Very stiff. Is that it now? Nope, one more. One more. I almost tried to get away there. Nothing to learn here, I'm sure. But you never know. Oh. Secret, secret, sneaky, hidden screw, I believe. Let's have a little look-see. No, that isn't. That is not, it's just a plastic divot. I'm just gonna shake the screws out in case I've left one in. One, two, three, four, Come on, you. Five, six. Right, now there's definitely no screws in there. Doesn't want to go. I kind of wonder if the front, yeah, there we go. The front's popping off. Ooh. Quite a different design, but uh, still has a lot of the main features, basically. So you've got the panel at the top, which contains the keys the port on the back for the sort of IO. But look, this is a nice big speaker, much bigger speaker than the Tesco unit. Module we'll have a look at in a minute. And obviously the screen, everything mounted on the front. Interestingly, it doesn't have any of the copper ground plane of the Tesco unit. So if you remember the Tesco unit had a bit big piece of copper tape on there grounding it. This, they've sort of foregone that and just said, no, we're just shoving the signal straight out. But you can see the terminal's actually still here for it. If you wanted to add a better aerial connection, you can. You can just get in there, underneath there. It's a bit of glue on there, but you can just clearly see them there, either side of it. Let's turn this around and have a closer look at that chip. Let's see what we can see with it. That's the main main guy doing all the work. That's the Frontier Silicon. Looks like a MIN04 FS1445. Some sort of just ancillary trip. Ancillary trip or chip even just sort of looking here closely trying to read off this uh, little crystal here but yeah we're not going to read anything off that it's a very neat setup actually um really is and that's quite a nice speaker in there it doesn't look like it's bonded but it does have a nice gasket and it is well screwed so that's the source of the sort of superior sound on this unit my only uh thing that I think I could do to this would be an interesting mod is actually just mod it so that you've got a proper external connection if you want to sort of mount it to an external antenna because it's easy to do it won't really take you much effort if you do actually have that antenna in your house just go go ahead and try it I think that maybe some of the sort of uh, DVB you know digital TV antennas actually uh, can multiplex the DAB stuff so might as well do that if you want if you're a bit bored but for uh i don't know what this was about 15 pounds maybe less i'd go for it you've got nothing to lose and if you break it you know meh you won't break it actually how can you break it there's nothing to break really so i'll uh, just put this one screw in and it's all still pretty much self-contained i'll fix that later you don't need to watch me putting all the screws in time is not set that's fine Let's just try one more mode. I want to turn it on. Let's put it on FM and let's hit scan. Good. FM goodness. I haven't got the antenna out at all, so it would be interesting to see what it actually picks up. For the relatives of oh. those that, that were killed. Um, I just wonder what yeah. they think. The, the... Bit of radio too. Absolutely fine. So there you go. That probably is, I should imagine, available from Tesco's. I got it on eBay. Um, there's the manual, the Alba. The Alba 4, double one, zero, one, two, or one, three, or one, four, or one, five. That'll be all the different colors. Dab radio, takes batteries, put it in your pocket. Big pocket. Uh, yeah, I don't think you'll have any problems with that. Please feel free to comment down below on your Alba radio experiences. Click like and subscribe. And as ever, thank you for watching.